Okay, so I've gotten a lot of questions of how do we use these things. So this little cord, if you've got, if you, if you've bought these things, uh, then you'll, it'll come in these three parts, right? And so all you need to do is you'll have these holes. Do you see the bigger holes? Some of the holes are a little larger. These ones. Simply put the rope through. And what'll happen is it'll use, it'll act as a wick. And it'll this will get wet if there's any water at the bottom. And it will go into the roots as needed. The issue, the problem with this is that if, if you've watered your plant and there's a bunch of water in here, it can rot out the plant because there's just not enough, uh, <laughs> there's not enough oxygen getting to the roots because they, they, the roots need to breathe. So they need to get dry and then get wet so they can have water, but they need to get, it's that back and forth of wet, dry, wet, dry. They need to be able to breathe, but they also need to be able to drink. So this can be good and it can be problematic based on the plants that you're using. So like I have some cacti and I do not, I don't use this. I, I, I don't use the rope for cacti with this. Um, I have succulents and I do use the rope, but I, any water that drains out at the bottom, I just dump it out because I don't want the succulents to stay too wet. So I, I'd say that's it. Mm -hmm. I will say they're not always the easiest thing to use because they look, you know, they look great. And I'd say for succulents, they do pretty well for cacti. Awesome. Cause cacti are pretty easy. For, for herbs, they're much harder to use because of because the herbs need a lot of light. They would need oxygen in those roots, but they also don't want to be waterlogged for too long. So you need to be careful with using these planters that you that they don't remain too wet for too long. That's a really key thing with these. So yeah, they look awesome, but it's still better to use you know a planter that you know like a normal planter <laughs> that that doesn't have a reservoir in it which is also why if you use it totally fine to just take out that wick and not have not deal with the rope soaking up the the water from the bottom and and keeping the soil wet that's that makes it far easier but then you have to just dump out any of the excess water. So that's what I'd say there. Oh, and another person asked if I put pebbles or anything in those planters, and I don't. I I only use soil, you know, potting soil or succulent potting soil, and that's that's it. Because uh, they're not very big. They're really they're really tiny.